talk about lenses. After all, we want to understand how the laws of refraction and reflection help us understand what's happening inside our eyes, how our glasses work, and how this thing which you all have used, which is called the magnifying glass, how does this thing work? To understand it, we have to understand a little bit better what we call lenses. Lenses are made out of materials that are transparent to light, and they have curved surfaces. For example, this lens is called a biconvex lens, two bellies on both sides. This is called biconcave lens, concave like a cave. This is also biconvex lens, you can see it. Now, the bellies of the lens. The question is, what do those lenses do? For example, you might have heard that this lens, which is a biconvex lens, is a converging lens. First of all, what does converging mean? Converging means that if you have a parallel beam of light coming from the outside, this light, after coming through the lens, will converge into a point. And if the light beam is parallel, the distance from the lens to the point where the light converges is called the focal length of the lens, and the point where the light converges is called the focal point of the lens. Now you know a little bit more about lenses. So the lenses that converge light, the focal point is positive, and we can actually measure what the focal point is. I'm going to do it here, but I'm going to use a lens that has a handle, which is a little easier. When you show it to the children, you can do it with different lenses. Just ask them not to touch with their fingers the lens itself and to be careful with them because the, the oil from your hands will be deposited on the lens. So we open the window so we can see faraway objects outside, for example, the trees. And now I'm going to hand, have the lens. I'm going to move it far away from the screen and the screen is just a white paper put on a stand. And I'm going to move it closer and closer. And hopefully, at some point, we're going to see something interesting. I hope you start seeing something that the image is becoming a little bit more focused. A little bit more focused. And now, I hope you can see that at this point, the image is very focused. And the distance right now from the lens to the image is exactly equal this distance equals to the focal point of the lens. And I can see that it's about 30 centimeters. If you were, when you are doing it, ask the children to look more carefully so they can see that the trees are upside down. This image is a real image because the rays, the rays of light converge in the screen and the image is an upside down, we call it inverted image, and it is a reduced. It's smaller than the object. Now, so this lens has a focal distance of about 30 centimeters. It's a converging lens. I can have another lens, and I can figure out what its focal distance is. I'm doing it, and you can see it's smaller than 30. And you can see that right now, I'm able to focus it pretty clearly, and it looks to me that now the focal distance is about 12 centimeters. So this lens, converging lens, has a focal distance of 12 centimeters, and this one has a focal distance of about 30. So you might ask, what does the focal distance depend on? And the focal distance of a lens depends on three things. Number one, its shape. What is the radius, what are the radi radii of curvature of both sides of the lens? The curvature is important, it's number one. Number two, what matters is what the lens is made of. If the lens is made of glass, or water or plastic, the indices of refraction of the, those materials are different, and th thus the focal ability of the lens to focus light is going to be different. And the index of refraction just shows you how much the light slows down when it's in the lens versus when it's in air. The last thing that matters is the ambient index of refraction, where the lens is submerged in. If the lens is in the air, this lens is, as we can see, is a converging lens. The image is upside down. Here, it's focused on the screen. Now, when the lens, the same lens, would have been, for example, submerged in water,
the focal distance of the lens would have changed. And in the next video, we will show you how the focal distances of your eyeglasses are measured. So how, what is the relationship between this and the diopters that we see when we buy glasses? Thank you.